Namaskaram to all of you. Today is Sudarshana Jayanti. Om Shreem Hreem Kleem Krishnaya Govindaya Gopi Janavallabhaya Paraya Paramapurushaya Paramatmane Parakarma Mantra Tantra Yantra Aushada Astra Sastrani Sankara Sankara Mrityor Mochaya Mochaya Om Namo Bhagavate Mahasudarshanaya Deeptre Jwala Paritaya Sarvadikshobanakaraya Kumpat Brahmane Param Jyotishe Swaha Sudarshana Mahalapatra Sudarshana Darshan is sight. Sudarshan is good insight. Sudarshana Mahajwala Koti Surya Samaprabha Agyana Andasya Medeva Vishnur Marga Pradarsaya Sudarshana Mahajwala Hey Sudarshana the Jwala, it is Mahajwala. Koti Surya Samaprabha, it is as good as a crore of Surya. The Tejas is as good as a crore. Probably those days they could not imagine anything beyond crore. Today we have billions, billions, billions. Koti Surya Samaprabha, so much of Tejas, so much of illumination. It is, it gives so much of light. Koti Surya Samaprabha. That is the Jwala. The Jwala what you see in the Ajyam. That Jwala, it is equal to Koti Surya. Ajnana Andasya Medeva. What this Jwala should do? This Sudarsana Jwala, what it does? Ajnana Andasya Medeva. Ajnana ignorance. We have a lot of ignorance. I think you are different, I am different. You belong to some other caste, I belong to some other caste. You belong to a country, I belong to another country. You belong to a particular race, I belong to a particular race. You are employed, you earn a lot of money, I do not earn a lot of money. You have better wealth. I have lesser wealth, you have better peace of mind, I don't have. All this is ignorance. Ajnana Andasya Medeva. This ignorance should get wiped out. This ignorance should get darkened. The dark force should get darkened and diminished totally. The light from Sudarshana. The Jwala should be to that extent, it should extinguish the dark force, the darkness in the mind. Mind has got a lot of darkness because mind is the place where devil is seated, heart is the place where the Lord is seated. Mind does its job, heart does its job. Sometimes mind tries to prevail over the heart. Today somebody was telling me, one Banalu procession, some Banalu is normally celebrated in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana and all we celebrate. Telugu celebrate Banalu. Especially during the Ashada Masham it is celebrated. Prayers towards Amavar. There are a lot of temples in Hyderabad. Every week one one temple they will celebrate, they group. Some places, some days, some places. They have a particular. 
almanac dates for celebrating that. It's a great function where people celebrate in a very big way for which they had come for some some donation or some rice, some pulses, something. Somebody had come. Immediately they took some rice, etc., and some hundred rupees was kept. By the time they went down, the person had gone. And now the housewife told him, he has gone, what to do? Okay, give it to the servant maid with 50 rupees. Immediately the wife pointed out, she said, this is what is heart and mind. Initially it was the heart, you said 100 rupees. Now when it came to servant maid, you made it 50. <laughs> The man corrected himself and he gave hundred along with some rice and other things. So, the mind and the heart, the ignorance is there always in the mind. You look different, I look different. You live a better life, I live. All these things, this is all ignorance. Compare and contrast is mind. Everything is Lord's will and Lord has created us for a particular purpose. The purpose is known only to Him, not to us. And He has designed a life which cannot be planned. Though you are making so many plans, the plans may take place or may not take place. The idea also He gives. But whether the idea will be successful or not, also nobody knows. Because life is uncertain. Life is choiceless. In order for that to realize, that concept of choicelessness, to realize that everything is Lord's will, that ignorance has to go. Whatever happens, good, bad, right, wrong, perfect, imperfect, everything comes under. Ishwara ultimately he has the role and he knows the best and he does the best and whatever he does, that is the best. Whatever happens is His will. In order to, for our mind to counsel itself, to accept everything as the will of the Lord. Will of the Lord means, doesn't mean that you will not act. You will continue to act, but always 24 by 7, 365 days, any number of years you live, it will always be in the mind that this is Lord's act and you will be doing it the way it has to be done and you will see perfection in it and everything will be very divine, sane, good. It will be very helpful not only to you, it will be helpful to the society also. It will be society, it will be helpful to the society, it will be helpful to the nation, it will be helpful to the entire world. Probably next level, Jagat, Cosmos, everything. Everything happens as per Lord's will. Not your will or my will or anybody's will. In order that this comes into the mind, this Sudarsana helps. That Jwala helps. Sudarsana Maha Jwala. Koti Surya Samaprabha Ajnana Andasya Medeva, this ignorance should be wiped out. Vishnur Marga Pradarsaya. Vishnu means Sarva Vyapi. That is the meaning of the word. The Lord is available everywhere. In anything and everything. Any action you do, the Lord is available. The Lord is there. In anything and everything. The super consciousness, universal consciousness, the power always exists in every act, everything that happens, the Lord is there. That should come into our mind. But the beauty of the universe is, everyone is unique. Every object of creation is unique, not different. When you think it is different, you feel antagonistic of it. You have angst against it. But when you know everything is unique, 
you will certainly appreciate it. You will hold on to it. When I know very well that you are a very unique person, I will hold on to you. When I start thinking that you are different, I will be antagonistic of you. The way I look at you will be totally not acceptable. It's not correct. There will be a lot of imperfection. So the nature is always perfect. Call it by any name. Here we call him as Sudarshan. The beautiful Sudarshana chakra. Chakra revolves both ways, clockwise, anti-clockwise. Savyam, apasavyam, both is there. Prayoga chakra is there. Come to Narsimhavadi, you can see Janardana with Prayoga Chakra. Prayoga Chakra means Lord in action. He is already in action. He is a Mahapitru Devata. He is in action there. There Sudarsana Chakra is Prayoga Chakra. Prayoga means to act is Prayoga. Prayogi means one who acts at the right point of time, the way it has to be acted. Of course, is the Lord who acts through him because he is absolutely egoless. So, such a beautiful Sudarshana. Today is the Sudarshana Jayati. Krishna Mala Mantram says, Om Pranavam Shreem Hreem Klim Krishna Yagovinda Ayat Gopi Janavallava Yaparaya Parama Purusha Yaparamatmane Para Karma Mantra Tantra Yantra Aushada Astra Sastrani Samkara Samkara Mrityor Mochaya Mochaya Om Namo Bhagavate Maha Sudarshana Yadiptre Jwala Parita Haya Sarvadik Shobanagara Haya Umpat Brahmane Param Jodhishe Swaha Krishna Sudarshana Mala Mantra Om is Pranavam Srim Bijam Mahalakshmi, material prosperity. When you recite this mantra, plenty of material prosperity. You are blessed with a lot of material prosperity. Just it comes to you. Lord blesses you. Shreem, 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 Shreem. If you keep on repeating, Mahalakshmi will be with you always. There will be no dearth of any material prosperity. Shreem. Next is Hri. Hri. H-R-E-E-M. Hri means protection. In this world, we always need some protection. Protection is not only external, even internal. Inner protection you need. Sometimes people will say, I have unknown fear. Unknown fear means you are not feeling comfortable about something which you are not able to locate. That unknown fear is because the blessings of Hrim is not there. If the blessings of Hrim is there, that unknown fear will not be there. We say, Om Hrim Bhuvaneshwaryai Namaha, Goddess Bhuvaneshwar. Bhuvana means this Jagat is Bhuvana. Bhuvana means not merely earth, the entire thing, the cosmos, where all you have got earthly things, where all you have got a surface, where all you have got different organisms, different forms of life, known to science, not known to science, all that. Who is the Lord, Goddess, Goddess Bhuvaneshwar, Om Harim Bhuvaneshwar Namaha. Keep on repeating. It gives you a lot of strength outside and inside. You don't become headstrong. You become internally very strong. Despite all debacles, obstacles in life, you will always know that you will come out of it. That confidence, courage, optimism will always live with you because of the hearing major. So don't miss hearing. When you have fear, nirbhaya, there is no necessity to fear. Hreem will always protect you. Om Shreem Hreem Kleem Maya Bija. Om Kleem Krishna Yanamaha. 
క్లీన్ మాయా బీజ మాయా మీ సొల్యూషన్ ఎస్ we have some illusion in life when you live this earthly life we will have some small illusions we want to be appreciated though by default everything is lords anybody praises you or curses you it is lords it's not yours but still when you live a normal mundane life you may like when you do something you you would like to showcase it and gain the appreciation of others for that you must have vashikaram you must get attracted towards others if you get attracted towards others it is easier for you to have praises and comiums all that people will come around you the way gopas and gopikas came around lord krishna gopi jana vallabhaya clean so om shri hari clean clean bless you with all that to live this mundane life comfortably with a lot of peace of mind Om Klim 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 If you keep saying Om Klim Krishna Aya Ramaha Automatically Krishna Aya The dark one Krishna means dark You see here in this mantra One side we say Sudarshana light Another side we say Krishna dark Rama was born during daytime Krishna was born at midnight Darkness is the mother of light <laughs> if darkness is not there you won't be able to appreciate light when during sun day time you never know what is darkness but during night time you know very well unless the moon and the stars are not there you are not going to have light of course we have now electricity everything but natural light all that even though the sun is not there the moon absorbs the light of the sun and gives you light so indirectly the sun is helping you at night also through moon it just reflects the light from the sun so krishna the dark he was born in the dark krishna yeah he had to handle the dark forces so he came into being during the dark krishna yeah గోవిందాయ గోటు తిరుమల వెంకటరమణ స్వామి ద సేమ్ కృష్ణ వెంకట కృష్ణ హౌ బ్యూటిఫుల్ ఈస్ గోవిందాయ గో మీన్స్ క్యాటిల్స్ ఆల్ ఎనిమల్స్ ఈవెన్ హ్యూమన్స్ ఆల్సో యూ కెన్ పుట్ ఇట్ అమంగ్ దెమ్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ అస్ ఆర్ ఎనిమల్స్ గోవిందాయ హీ ప్రొటెక్ట్స్ హీ టేక్స్ కేర్ govardhana giridari he protected everybody from the fury of rains govindaya gopi jana vallabhaya the way the gopas and gopigas got attracted towards krishna by reciting this mantra everybody will come around you you will have so much of vashigranam so much of attraction paraya there is no second alternative this is the only one you will be the best in whatever you do and it will reflect in your action paraya parama purushaya lord purusha means it is only the lord all others are not purushas parama purushaya shuddha purusha he is the highest universal consciousness in the form of sudarshana parama purushaya paramatmane we are jeevatmas and he is the paramatma paramatmane parama atma individual consciousness has to ultimately merge with the universal consciousness from the universal consciousness came individual consciousness 
you have sun. You see only one sun on the top. If you sprinkle water, there will be hundred drops, hundreds of drops. You can see one one sun in it. That is the universal consciousness and this is the individual consciousness. The individual consciousness is split into many parts. It's a reflection of the universal consciousness. But the original is only one. Ekam Sat Vipra Bhaguda Vadanti. Satyam is only one, but it is called by different names. Parama Purushaya Paramatmane Parakarma. There are a lot of karmas to be done in this world. We do it in the name of God. There are a lot of duties to be done. Duty is not done as a duty. When you do duty, you do it with love. With a lot of love. Isn't it? When I ask somebody, how about your daughter's marriage? He said, yeah, yeah, I have to do it. It's my duty. No, it's not your duty. On account of love, a duty has come. You don't get your daughter or son married just as a matter of duty. No, it's not duty. You want them to live a happy life, to have a family, to have children. You want to further the generation. For that you get them married, isn't it? Or if they come with a proposal, you approve the proposal. The reason being, they have to live a happy life. There must be some union between two souls. That is the reason you get them married, is it? So, para karma, duties, more on account of love. Duty must be based on love. Due to love, the duty has to come. That's why I was, I tell, even work you have to love. You should not hate what work you are doing. Not just as a matter of duty, but you should add the essence of love in it. Parakarma. Mantra Tantra Yantra. Mantras, Yantras and Tantra. Mantra. We recite mantra. This is a mantra. From the mind that the mantra is recited. So in mantra we have different types, watching. Kayakik, Manasik. Different people adopt different practice. When it is Vachanik, we outwardly express the mantra. Kayankip, you can see the lip movement alone. That is how the mantra is said. Manasik, you don't see anything outside. The person closes the eyes and sits. Yeah, Manasik may be a very high level. Rishis, Munis, very great elevated noble persons spiritual souls, but normal humans recite watching so that you don't think anything about it because when you recite the mantra, the mantra you hear it back in the ears, so nothing else comes into the mind. So whether you recite this way or that way, it's all one and the same, don't worry. Some people will say manasik and all, don't try all that. Never feel disappointed because by trying something impossible, don't go into it. If those things are not working, don't unnecessarily try. You will get dejected. Do watch it. Mantra, Yantra. We keep Yantras in the Yajyam or I do Prayogams to infuse power into it. Yantra is a medium. This body is an Yantra. This body is an Yantra. What is it? It's a body. It's a sheath. Isn't it? The mantra is the mind and the soul part of it is the tantra. We don't know where the soul is. We don't know where the prana is. Leave alone the soul. Prana itself we do not know where it is. Somebody dies out of heart attack, somebody goes kidney failure, somebody goes because of some cancer, something, all that, all these things, corona, these things. From where? Where? It is. Nobody knows. That is the magic. That is the Tantra. Lord is the greatest Tantra. He has kept it somewhere. Nobody knows. Nobody can decipher. You can say at best the heart did not function. But whether the actual prana was there in the heart, 
whether the soul atma was there in the heart or from where the soul went we do not know that is tantra so mantra tantra yantra aushada aushada is medicine we live this life we should have good health amritam is prevention is better than cure but sometimes disease comes the tablets what we take should work or no it is not working at least we are supposed to live what normal age one is supposed to live mantra tantra yantra aushada aushadam medicine so this mantra will make the medicine work or it may prevent any disease <coughs> the amrita potion may act or the aushada potion may act we don't know there is a lot's will aushada astra sastra adi samsara sabdara this world in this world necessarily if a war has to be fought it has to be fought when an enemy country is coming to wage a war you have to protect your country that is your duty there is no other way out if the enemy country is coming naturally we have to so we should have astra sastra adi samsara sabdara you should have enough weapons and you should know technical know how how to use those methods there is no point okay sometimes countries import f16 or some f18 some new new things are coming every year one new thing some stealth plane this that it is important but it doesn't know how to use it then what is the point having the weapon and not being able to use it astra sastra ani nagastra is there you should know how to use nagastra Brahmastra is there. You should know how to use Brahmastra. So that technology, the technical aspects, how to use a particular weapon, or when to use, where to use, how much to use, all these are all technical details. All that knowledge comes to intellect. Intellect is useful that way. So all that knowledge I should have intellectually to live this life. sometimes you may have war may be there in the country the war may be there the war may be in the office also sometimes you must know how to de- diplomatically convey that is also a weapon diplomacy is also a kind of weapon you should know when to talk how to talk how much to talk how not to talk what not to talk where to talk you should know some people don't have that discrimination they will just spill beans that should not be there in order to give you that laconic way of expressing things also comes as an astra that is a very powerful astra in tamil they will say ya thiruvalluvar said yaha varayinum naha kaava kal shoga par solli irukapattu he says whoever it is please take care of the tongue If you use it this way, that way, that's all. The words cannot be expressed at the later moment. Once you have, it cannot, and it brings a lot of displeasure. It brings a lot of bad name to you. So tongue is a very powerful weapon. Vagdevi always sits there. That's why you must be very careful while talking to people, because suddenly some rishi will go. whatever you say may come true because he will say tadastu and go away in your environment how do you know what aksharas are there what rishis are there you are not a prayogi to decipher you are a normal person as a normal person you won't know who is there who is not there in the environment there are so many things there are so many energy forces so whatever you talk must not only be meaningful but also be a very cautious expression it should not hurt others even if you are going to convey something which may be a little bit this way that way you should know how to put it like a sugar coated pill it is being given as a medicine so you must know how to do it to get that technique this mantra helps astra sastha ani samhara samhara let it all come to me mrityor mochaya mochi even yama must be scared of me. I must live a full life because I have got everything with me. 
with the Lord's grace, Sudarshana's grace, I have got everything with me. Even if Yama comes, he must be scared that this man is supported by so many things. Prithyor Mochaya Mochaya Om Namo Bhagavate Mahasudarshanaya Who gives all this Mahasudarshan? The Chakra. Mahasudarshanaya. Deep Tre. He is there in the form of Deepa. When we do Yantra Puja, we will keep a lot of lights in a particular formation. Deep Tre. He is there in the form of lamp. You are lighting lamp at home. He is there in the form of light. Deep Tre. Jwala Paritai. If you come to the Ekim, you can see the Jwala. It will go some 30 feet, 40 feet. Jwala Paritaya. Sarva Dikshobanagaraya. Whether it is Deepam or Jwala. Sarva Dikshobanagaraya. All the direction it eliminates. In the mind. It eliminates the mind. It eliminates the mind. All the darkness in the mind goes away. All the various unwanted things in the mind will go away. It illuminates the entire mind. This Deepam and that Jwalam, it removes the darkness. Jwala Paritaya Sarvadik Shomanagaraya. It illuminates. It makes every direction a beauty, glorious, auspicious. Everywhere it is auspicious. Every direction it is auspicious. It changes your entire thinking methodology, the way you look at things. The way you look at things will totally change by reciting this mantra. Jala Paritaya Sarvadikshobanagaraya Humpat. Let it kill all the negative and dark forces. Let the dark force, which is struck up somewhere in the mind, let it kill that. Let it kill that negative thinking. Let it kill that pessimism. Let it kill that dark force. Let it bring auspiciousness all around. And let it eliminate my mind to a state of optimism and positive thinking in life. Humpat Brahmane, the ultimate Brahman. Param Jyoti She. It's not, he is not normal Jyoti, he is Param Jyoti. He is the superior most Jyoti. He is the highest form of Jyoti. He is the highest form of light. Param Jyoti She Swaha. Swaha, this mantra you can recite. There is no necessity you should have a Yajna Kundam. The Yajna Kundam is the heart. And offer the Ahuti inside the heart to the Lord. Let the Lord be pleased. He has been responsible for our existence. Whatever we are today, it is because of Him. He has taken care of us. So, long, so thankful, Lord. Thank you so much. This thought also only you have given. It's not mine. Nothing is mine, Lord. It's an absolutely choiceless life. I do not have a choice. Though it looks as though there is a choice. Though it looks, it shows there are many chances. Every chance you choose is once again choiceless. Chance is redundant. Whatever you may choose is still is his choice. Anything beyond his will doesn't take place. Everything is Lord's will. And glory to the Lord, Sudarshana. He Mahavishnu, Narayana, Paranjyoti. This is the beautiful mantra of Sudarshana. Be benefited. All those who hear this mantra by seeing this particular video, let them be benefited. You can recite also. You can take it as my Upadesha to you. Because I can't keep giving to everybody. 
ಕಿಬಿತಿಮ್ಮೈ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀಂ ಕ್ರೀಂ ಕ್ಲೀಂ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಗೋವಿಂದಾಯ ಗೋಪೀ ಜನವಲ್ಲಭಾಯ ಪರಾಯ ಪರಮಪುರುಷಾಯ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನೆ ಪರಕರ್ಮ ಮಂತ್ರ ತಂತ್ರ ಯಂತ್ರ ಔಷಧ ಅಸ್ತ್ರಶಸ್ತ್ರಾಣಿ ಸಂಹರ ಸಂಹರ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ ಮೋಚಯ ಮೋಚಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ಮಹಾಸುದರ್ಶನಾಯ ದೀಪ್ತೆ ಜ್ವಾಲಾಪರೀತಾಯ ಸರ್ವದಿಕ್ಷೋಭಣಗರಾಯ ಹುಂಪಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣೆ ಪರಂ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಷೆ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಸುದರ್ಶನ ಮಹಾಜ್ವಾಲ ಕೋಟಿ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಸಮಪ್ರಭ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಂಧಸ್ಯ ಮೇ ದೇವ ವಿಷ್ಣೋರ್ ಮಾರ್ಗ ಪ್ರದರ್ಶಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ಮಹಾಸುದರ್ಶನಾಯ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ 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 ನಾರಾಯಣ 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 ಸರ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಗಾಡ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ